Okay, so in this video we're going to look at some symmetries of three-dimensional shapes. Now I've listed here the five platonic solids. So the five platonic solids are shapes in three dimension that have the same shape face and make up an evenly shaped um, solid. So for example, the tetrahedron is all triangular faces and they all manage to stick together to make a three dimensional uh, regular shape. Same with the cube, same with the octahedron, the dodecahedron and the icosahedron. Now I've not drawn these, I could be here forever trying to draw these, these are too complicated, but I'll put a picture in this video as we're going along so you can see what they're like. Now the faces of each one of these, so the tetrahedron has got four triangular faces. So that's the tetrahedron. So that's something there to help us with our symmetries. The cube is made up of all squares. We all know that one, so evenly shaped. The octahedron has got eight faces of triangular shape. The dodecahedron has got 12 faces of pentagonal shape. And the icosahedron is a solid or made up of 20 triangular faces. So first of all, we'll work out those. And then after we'll work out these two shapes here, a triangular shaped prism and a cuboid and these are irregular three-dimensional shapes so the triangular prism if you can see here in this little diagram has got two triangular faces at the ends and the center part is made up of three rectangular faces and the cuboid here has got three pairs of two congruent rectangles so this one and this one will be of the same shape and this one and the one at the back will be the same and the same top and bottom will be the same so work out to work out uh, the symmetries of that one okay let's go straight into the tetrahedron so triangular shaped and four sides now we know that a uh, two-dimensional shape let's just write that on here two-dimensional shape let's do it two-dimensional shape the symmetries are made up of two times n um, rotations and reflections. So let's just put that as symmetries. And that will be made up of n rotations and n reflections. Now, how to see, to see how we got to that, if you check on the link in the description of this video, you'll see the two-dimensional version of these symmetries. Okay, so for a symmetry to be working properly, what we need is for a rotation or a reflection of the shape and then return back to how it was. Um, so it looks like nothing has changed. So when you rotate it, nothing will change. So here, we could rotate round a full 180 degrees on the base and this shape would not look any different. So there's an example. So we know the triangle has got three sides. So therefore we're going to have three rotations and three reflections. So I'll just put those in brackets as we go down the list so we can distinguish. And as the tetrahedron has got four sides, we can multiply each one of these by four and then add it up and then four threes are 12 plus four threes are 12 that gives us 24. So that's going to tell us that there's 24 preserving symmetries of a tetrahedron. Okay now let's have a look at the cube. Now the cube is made up of faces that are a square so if we take the symmetries of the two-dimensional faces so a square we know has got four sides so therefore we're going to have four rotations and four reflections and it is made up of six sides. So whichever side you sit this cube on, the rotations and reflections will be the same. So therefore we can multiply each one of these by six. So six four is 24 plus another 24. That means there's 48 preserving symmetries of a cube. Okay, octahedron, so eight sides, 
and each of the sides is triangular. Now we know the triangular has got six preserving symmetries, so we can do three rotations and three reflections. And on the octahedron, whichever face we put it on, it will still be able to have preserving symmetries of each of these. So we multiply those by eight. So that three eighths of 24 and another 24. So that's going to give us 48. Interestingly, the same as the cube. Now what about the pentagonal one? So dodecahedron has got 12 faces and each one of those faces is a pentagon. So a pentagon, five sides, we know it's going to have five rotations, five reflections. So let's just put that in there. And then 12 of those faces, which will still preserve the symmetry by all those rotations and reflections. So we can multi multiply each one of these by 12. So 5, 12 is 60, and add another 60, that's going to give us 120 preserving symmetries of the dodecahedron. So icosahedron, so 20 faces of triangular shape. The triangle we know has got three of each, six altogether. And there's 20 faces, so we could put the icosahedron on each one of those faces and still preserve, uh, have preserving symmetry. So multiply each one of these by 20. So 20 times three is 60, twice, that's gonna be 120. Also, the same amount as the dodecahedron, that's quite interesting. So basically what we need is, for the formula for these, what we take is the number of symmetries, so the face, which is 2n, and then we multiply that by the number of sides. And then that will equal our number that we're looking for. So that's our way of working out the preserving symmetries of these three dimensional shapes. So these are all platonic solids. Now, what about these two? Now, these two here are not regular three dimensional shapes. So here we've got the triangular prism. So we've got two triangular faces and three rectangular faces. So let's work out each one and see what happens. So if we take the triangular faces, we can rotate this prism through the triangular uh, sides. That's if we're putting a line through the centre here. And we would have three of the rotations and we could reflect it three times as well. So we're going to have for the triangulars, we've got three. And then as there's two sides which we can do this for, we can multiply each one by two. So we can put that on the, each side however we like, and the uh, rotations and reflections will be repeated for each side. So two threes are six plus two threes are six, that's going to give us 12. So therefore we can say this triangular shaped prism has got 12 preserving symmetries. But what if we were to do it through the rectangular sides? Would we get the same amount? So really for it to have 12 preserving symmetries to be correct, if we rotate using the rectangular sides, we should get the same amount. So for a rectangle, we have rotations, we've got two. And reflections we've got two as well so we can reflect through this way and we can reflect through this way okay so there we go that's the two each of those and at the rectangular sides there is three equal rectangular ones three congruent rectangles so therefore we can multiply each one of these by three multiply that up and hey presto we get the same so therefore the triangular shaped prism has got 12 preserving symmetries. So that's how we show that. Let's see if this same technique works with the congruent rectangles. So if we take each rectangle, let's say for example we take this face here, we can rotate each rectangle twice. So that's what we've worked out here already. So let's put that in there as a two. 
and then the reflections as well will also be the same because we can flip this way and we can flip the shape this way so that will also be two now how many congruent rectangles congruent to this side is there well there's one this side and one at the back so we can multiply each one of those by two so two twos are four times two that gives us eight now what about the top so you do the top the rotations are going to be exactly the same and the reflections are going to be the same so and as we've got two of these again we with two times two twice we're going to be with eight and then just by checking we can take the ends these are also rectangles so if you take the axis of symmetry through the middle and do rotations we would have two rotations and if do reflections we can reflect it twice so again two times two is eight so that's our way we can work out the congruences sorry the preserving symmetries for these two particular shapes when they're not regular okay